yes uh, now in this lecture uh, we will see the different types of connections that are possible with two port networks so first we will see about the series connection so if you observe here there are two two port networks that means each network is having one input port and one output port and also another network is also having similarly one input port and one output port so the first network is considered as n1 second network is considered as n2 and uh, v1 prime v1 double prime are the input port voltages for network 1 as well as network 2 respectively similarly we have v2 prime and v2 double prime so for this type of network so uh, we will be having two port network parameters for both the networks and they are considered as uh, z11 prime z12 prime z21 prime z22 prime so here the focus is are the derivation is performed with respect to z parameters you will understand why we are doing only with z parameters right and uh, we also have similarly the z parameters for the network 2 with double primes that is z11 double prime z12 double prime similarly z21 and z22 double primes so we can write the two port network equations with z parameters for both the networks n1 so for network n1 these are the matrix form equations similarly we will have for network n2 this as the z parameter equations now in order to get a relationship between these z parameters what we do uh, we will consider v1 prime plus v1 double prime as v1 so because if you apply one kvl here what do you get if you apply kvl in this uh, loop you will get minus v1 is equal to v1 prime plus v1 double prime similarly towards the second port side we will have v2 is equal to v2 prime plus v2 double prime so this is just with respect to KVL since the two networks are connected in series fine so these are the equations that we got uh, from the KVL equation now what we do we will just consider V1 V2 matrix which is a column matrix and what is that V1 prime plus V1 double prime V2 prime plus V2 double prime so from the equation 1 and this equation 2 we can write this right z1 prime z11 prime plus z11 double prime that means we can add individual element matrices because it is just addition right so when you do that and i1 i2 will be same as it is right because i1 i2 is common in both for network n1 and for network n2 because the currents are same in series connection so with that what you can get with that you can get the v1 v2 is equal to z11 z12 z21 z22 i1 i2 so where the z11 is the sum of the individual networks z parameters so that is the important point here right yes uh, for more clarity let us give this as equation number one or matrix number one this is two from this one and two you will get this one and this is the final z parameters matrix for overall network because the overall network is having input current i1 port to current i2 and input port v1 output port v2 whereas individual networks inside of that overall network are having again different parameters voltage or current anyways the current is same that's why no nothing is indicated here even here towards the second port side the current is same because they are connected in series so there is no other current parameter involved here fine so this is all about the networks when they are connected in series that means when two networks two port networks are connected in series we can add jet parameters fine so this is only addition is possible only for jet parameters when two port networks are connected in series this is the very important point so similar way we can have parallel connection as well as cascade connection so let us see all those things now